Hey guys, welcome to this episode of The Cairo Couch. My name's Dr. Andrew, and I hope you're having a wonderful day. Now, in the hustle and bustle of our daily lives, evenings are a time for us to slow down. However, how we spend these crucial hours at bedtime can significantly influence influence our next day. So let's discuss the idea of an evening routine. Now I want to acknowledge that the idea is to separate your work from home. So when you get home, choose a time that you switch off from work and do something that's habitual like get out of your work clothes or have a shower. And this will cut off your ties between thinking about work and thinking about your personal life. Next, consider the foods that you're gonna be eating. Not just the type of foods, for example, sweets before beds, but what time you're gonna eat them because eating dinner too late can affect your sleep and digestion. And also consider the activities that you engage in before bedtime too. So are you scrolling through your phone, watching TV, or working late into the night? These activities, especially those involving screens, can interfere with your circadian rhythm and it makes it difficult to fall asleep and it wires your brain the opposite way than relaxing. I used to have a habit of watching UFCs before before bed and for a while I didn't know why I was waking up tired but then it dawned on me I was going to bed in a fight or flight state and it's not the best state to get a good night's rest instead try incorporating calming activities like reading a book practicing a relaxing technique or do gentle stretching to wind your body down and doing your dinner roll is a great thing to do to wind yourself down and switch off before sleep but let's tie this back into your spinal health as well even the way you sit during the evening matters as well you might sit on a couch or lay in a bed reading a book with improper support. This can lead to discomfort and potentially impact your spinal alignment as well. So I'd consider having a supportive pillow or a mattress that pr promotes your neutral spine position and allows your body to rest in, rest in the best position possible. Now the last one, not the last one, but one of the other ones is hydration. It's so critical. While staying hydrated during the day is important, try to limit your intake close to bedtime to avoid disruptions of going to the toilet at night. And that goes for alcohol too, because proper hydration contributes to the health of your joints and those in your spine and keeps them lubricated and functioning opposite. Now let's talk about some other routines, for example, in stress management. You know, high stress levels contribute to tension of the body, can affect your muscles and your spine. And incorporating relaxation Relaxing techniques such as deep breathing, meditation can alleviate your stress and pr produce a better night's sleep. But you can also plan your day for tomorrow as well. And this does not only benefit your sleep, but it also can benefit your success in your career and your finances. It helps you have less things on your mind when you're trying to fall asleep. So just write it down. What's on tomorrow? What do you have to do? What appointments do you have? What's your outcome with your meeting with Jenny and accounts? Even a pen and a paper next to your bed. So if you do wake up through the night, you can quickly write it down and go back to sleep without affecting your quality of sleep. So I believe improving your evening routines is a powerful step towards enhancing your overall health by prioritizing those activities for your sleep, your spinal health, and your stress management, it'll set a better stage for a healthier and more vibrant life. And if you like this, please check out my previous post on morning routines. Thank you for your time. My name's Dr. Andrew, and I'll see you all next week on the Cairo Couch. Bye for now.